Hello everyone. I'm Alex from Doc365. In this video, I am going to show you how to display a document in your SharePoint site using File Viewer Web Path. There are web paths like Image Web Path and Embed Web Path that allows you a similar functionality already. However, the File Viewer Web Path is unique when it comes to the file types as well as the way it shows in your SharePoint pages. This is useful when you want to showcase a particular document before your teammates in an easy to access way. You can display Excel, Word, PowerPoint, uh, PDFs, 3D models, videos, VCO, and lot more file types using this web part in your SharePoint pages. Let's see how to do that. This is my SharePoint start page and I'm going to show you this uh, web part tutorial in one of my SharePoint sites called Marketing Updates. So I am clicking on it and we will be, yeah, we are in the page right now. So as usual, you need to move this SharePoint site to edit more to include a new web part or edit the page. So click on the edit option at the right side top corner. So the page is now in the edit mode. To add a new web part, first you need to find a suitable place. I think it will be better if I can add the file viewer web part just under the hero web part here. So I'm going to click on the add new section option. So a new space will be created here. You can choose the layout of the new section. I'm choosing one column layout right now. So this is a space I found to add the new web part and click on the plus icon here. And you can search file viewer. Yeah, here it is. Choose the file viewer web part. So the web part is already here and it will directly prompt you to choose a uh, file you decide. So uh, here are some of the recent documents I have added. You can also choose from your OneDrive, any other site, or you can directly upload from your desktop, or you can also uh, use a link. I am going with one of the recent file I have uploaded here. Uh, this is a product supply contract template we have created recently. So I'm choosing it and click on insert. So that particular file will be immediately added to this web part and it will show here. Uh, one quick thing you can do is you can uh, add a description here if you prefer. I would like to choose the name uh, product supply contract template product supply contract template. So uh, that makes this uh, web part a uh, lot more uh, impressive or meaningful so the users will understand what this is about so uh, i have added the description so uh, if you wish you can do more uh, editing to this so for that you just need to scroll up and click on the edit the part option so there are actually three pages to this document so you can decide which page should um, should be displayed first it's by default, it will be the first page. Or, so if you think the second page is what you want to show it as a thumbnail or the users need to show, see it first, you can set, set this up here. So I'm going to choose the first page, click on apply. And the web part is now ready. So let's uh, take this page um, back online so click on republish so that the, all your um, changes will be saved back and let's go back to the home page and let's enlarge the view a bit so that it can be viewed more clearly so this is the web part we just created and this is how it shows so this is the contract template i was talking about and you can scroll this down 
and it will show up like this by default. You can scroll this down. This is the first page, the second page, and the third page, including the title. So uh, you can use the zoom options here. Let me show you that. Yeah, this is the 50% zoomed version. So you can use that. You can navigate to the pages. And also there is a rotate option. Here it is, it will rotate the page. If required, there is also a search option. You can use this uh, search option to find pages quickly. There's also an open in new window option by clicking it. The document will be open in a new page. Actually, this is more uh, useful when you when your users need to uh, edit or get more into this document. Here is uh, uh, opening options. You can open in, it in browser as well as in uh, other application. There is share option. You can find the copy link option here. You can have the print option. There is also a download option by clicking it. You can uh, easily download it to your desktop. There's also a delete and copy to. There's also a version history option. So this is how you can add a file directly into your uh, SharePoint site. And uh, that looks very good in your site too. Yeah, this is it. Now you know how to use file view of a part in your SharePoint site. Isn't that interesting? Do you, do you think it will be useful to your team? Uh, try it and let me know about your experiences. Or oh, if you have any queries, uh, please enter them in the comment section below so that uh, we can help you with further information. Have a great day.